Perfect. The names are going to be empty really quick, guys, while I update the names. Uh, let's get it started. All right, okay. here we go. Game so, one. Sharp versus Kraken. Sharp versus Kraken, and Sharp has decided to use his Shulk, um, the character he is using for, you know, his, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Smashdown. It's smash really just a Smashdown challenge. <laughs> Smashdown challenge, in which he can only play one character on the roster once, and after playing that character, they get striked off. He has used uh, dozens of characters already in this tournament um, without going uh, his main characters like Joker, Zero Suit, Wolf, Sheik, etc. And he's, uh, he's gotten this far, so... Yeah, his, uh, his song kind of popping off right now, though. But, I mean, yeah. here we go. We're starting to see the uh, the Rob take off a little bit. Okay, going to be able to make it back to stage. No problem. Good roll. The forward air going to catch that option. And let's see. Going to try and build some damage here with the Buster Art. Uh -oh. Specifically in Buster Art, it's one of those arts that is a really like high stakes, high reward situation. So it's really good to apply shield pressure, which is why we see players like Nico do an excellent job just pressure his opponents with Buster Art and then immediately switch off to another art as soon as they get enough pressure. Mm -hmm. There's a lot yeah. of shield damage, and against Joker, it is known as the Arsene Erasing Art. So Yeah, Buster Art's really good, but you have to be pretty confident in your spacing when you're doing that because if you screw up and you get hit while you're in Buster, you just take way too much percent. Yeah. Please also note that most of the Monado arts, if not most all of the Monado arts, only only change Shulk's properties as a character, not his frame data. So in Smash Art, it specifically only gives him more knockback, but in the receiving end, he does less damage. And then Buster, vice versa. It will do more damage, but less knockback. That up throw going to be able to kill right there. Dying at 168. Rob's up throw kind of decent. Uh, can kill at, you know, some of those percentages right there. Oh, Jesus goes straight up uh, air slash to just take the stock right back. Yeah, this seems like a not super rough matchup for uh, for Schultz just because he has the hitboxes to continuously, you know, deal with Rob's huge frame. But then... Uh, yeah, his recovery's not that difficult to get edge card out uh, for Rob either, so we'll see. We'll see if that plays a factor as well. So far, Sharks is doing a really good job avoiding getting edge guarded heavily by Rob. Oh. Yeah, he's got to watch the Nairs too. Um, I saw... Okay, good deal on the up air. Yeah, but I saw that Shulk's vision actually can kill really early for some reason now. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it got buffed. <laughs> it, it, it was out of nowhere. Like, that up smash, it got, both of them got buffed. People were just kind of like, why? Oh, yeah, the up smash as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why did Shulk get buffed? <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm just thinking um, if... The Rob is a little bit lazy with his landing there. He might just get countered and die. <laughs> Whoa, wow, good damage. But yeah, there. there's, there's, there's the uh, yeah. Smash Art F tilts is ridiculous. Even normal F tilts pretty damn strong, but especially Smash Art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean he also got a really good little bit of damage there. Uh, when he had the Buster Art out, I think he got a couple nares and then a forward air or something like that. So it set up really nice. And then that Smash Art coming out, just being able to land that forward tilt. Um, Kraken just wasn't being careful enough. Kind of blowing my mind that Sharp's Shulk is this good. Because isn't this a character that most people think is not that easy to play? No, Shulk is not easy to play at all. He's one <laughs> of the characters that, like, I tell people Nico's one of the best Shulks out there. But he's been playing Shulk since, like, Smash 4 when the character was not that great. Yeah. So he's gone through some tough um, times. I think for the most part, from what I've heard from some people and just having conversations, the character itself isn't too hard. It's really just getting the uh, the change in art uh, like down pat because that, that requires very precise inputs and all that, all that yeah. good stuff. When you but go I mean, into Monado dials, you can also cancel out like certain hit stuns to go into shield art. And getting that down is really difficult. Yeah, isn't there like a whole other tech thing with the dial storage too? I have no idea yep. what that's Di about. Yeah, dial storage is also a tech that Shulk has. It allows him to frame uh, cancel. Instead of bringing up the Monado wheel, he'll just be able to cancel to a specific Monado art by storing it. It was present in Smash 4, but the Monado dial allows him to do it instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, wow. Smash art, air slash is so strong. But he did I mean, anything, anything with Smash Art. Yeah. Is just, <laughs> he might, it's like, so gross. That movie is already really strong. It can kill without Smash Art. But, like, yeah, especially in that situation. 
couldn't tell if he got that off of like a out of shield, but uh, that move's gonna be especially good at killing Rob. Cause I, I don't know, mm -hmm. I just feel like every Rob uh, has that habit of just landing into you with an aerial, and Shulk can punch that super hard. So, yep. but he he won already with Shulk, so that means he has to use a different character. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's, it's not even a win. It's just as long as he plays the character. Then is, he's wait, is there? Switch, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I was gonna say, is there enough characters that like, he can actually go before he like runs oh, yeah, out of yeah. characters? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, if you think about it, there's like twelve sets, assuming you go from beginning to end. Uh, probably not going through losers too much, and then um, that's potentially three matches every time. So it's like 36, 40 something characters. Yeah, in a game with eighty characters, it makes sense. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. Who did he? Pit. He's going he pit. zero. No, he oh, okay. Pit. I couldn't. So I saw a blonde in. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, well, it's Pit, the worst skin of Pit, next to the uh, that weird sherbet looking one. Oh my god. Is that still in this game? Yes, I can't, it is. I can't remember. It's still in this game, strats. Yeah, uh, yeah. Pit actually really nice now. At uh, after they got those buffs, Pit and Dark Pit. Um, uh, there's this guy from I don't know where they're from. I think their name is. Dante, they're in the Black Halo crew, uh, if I remember correctly. Their pit is actually disgusting. I was watching uh, them in a crew battle, and uh, th this character's got some sauce, man. Th 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 if this character gets like their multi-hits fixed, it, it is a completely different character than what it was at the beginning of the Smash. And that's, I believe that's kind of what happened a couple patches ago. I don't think it fixed all the multi-hits, but it definitely made a lot of pit's aerials a little bit easier to connect from what I remember a few patches ago. Yeah, I, th I don't think Pit is a uh, super bad. He definitely can um, get a lot done in advantage, especially versus Ooh. a big character like Rob. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, um, cause like Rob, Rob isn't exactly the fastest off stage either. So as long as he knows how to place these arrows, he could continuously harass Kraken off stage. And even then, he's got big hitboxes. He's got plenty of ways to just continue continuously just bully rob in general so it's just kind of a matter of getting that going i have faith in sharp again sharp has got a really really good fundamentals just an overall fantastic player but man right now kraken is tearing this pit apart oh yeah definitely definitely going to work right now i think he actually meant to get the uh side b off stage he didn't air dodge for some reason hmm. should have been up two stocks right now but fine still a pretty good lead okay there we go Trying to find that backer to close out the Ooh, stock, and the arm off. rotor is Almost. not going to do it. Ooh. He actually, I think he threw it off the stage afterwards, trying to go for some, something crazy. Yeah, I think he tried to snipe him from, like, throwing the gyro off the ledge. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. All right, here we go. Continue to put on that pressure. The shield's not going to be able to do Oh, see, I see what he's doing. Yeah, he's turning around, like, throwing it off the stage, getting, like, a weird arc. That's actually really, uh, really smart. I haven't really seen that from Rob before. Yeah, me neither. Seems a lot more complex than just going out there hitting side B, but hey. <laughs> Pop it. Oh. Hey, oh, that's the snipe. All right. Another one? Okay, good stuff using the orbiters. I'm pretty sure that Jar would have killed if he didn't do that. Oh. Not dead, but very, very close. Up smash here? Oh, yeah, yeah, a little oh. bit too slow. Yeah, he definitely tried to find Oh, okay. Got the roll around, and nice. up there, going to be able to close out that stock. Sitting at 181, too. I, I don't know how much that rage actually played a part, but still. Sitting at 181, that's kind of insane. Yeah, the rage, and also they made up, back, up air have a little bit more knockback. So, uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty decent kill move now. Yeah, wanted to click with careful for you guys. Um, yeah, Piss Nair still not that great, but still really good. What a lot of pits changes came from was like garden arbitrars and specifically get up attacks and launch angles or specifically knockback for a lot of his moves mm -hmm. yes this was as of patch 8.0 so previous patch here we go yep using those arrows to harass rob off stage that's the thing is rob oh wow trying to get that back here trying to force a stage spike situation but Kraken didn't have to worry about it too much, recognizing, hey, you know, I still got a lot of fuel. I can just worry about just surviving. And the up air, oh not going to be enough. <laughs> Barely so surviving close, that bro. one. Yeah, this is super rough for uh, Kraken right now. Uh, sharp going for the, the hard punish. Gotta be careful. 
Robin kills super early if you give him the right opening. Yeah. Around this percent, actually. Be it. Okay, never mind. Uh oh. Kraken's starting to get that harassment going. Land with that nair. That nair is so huge for no reason. Sharp trying to find an opening here to close out this stock. Is that the dash attack? Yeah, mm -hmm. just enough to catch Rob a uh, huge frame on this landing there. And uh, man, the pit working out. Kind of had a rough start at the beginning, but turned it all the way around. And I feel like like a, a fundamental style character like uh, Pit, it kind of fits Sharp too. Like not super, super complex. Just rewards good spacing. That's some oh, decent yeah. throw combos. Yeah. Oh, uh, quick shout out to Hazmat. Really quick, sorry about that. Um, oh. He says, so Sharp tweeted today that his Smash Wiki said he has it played 60 plus characters in tournament. I think he might be trying to add them all to the page. LOL. And I think that's a pretty funny thing to do. Yeah, the actual number was uh, 71, um, I think, is what he said. Ready? Which is crazy, because that's like four characters that you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> oh. Still a character, man. Still a character. Oh. That's so that cheating, Sharp. That side be built a little bit different, bro. Oh. He's like, oh, no, man. Dude, that, that, that's an Echo character. That's basically the same thing. Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly the same character. Right, but, right, right. But yeah. <laughs> Hey man, you know what? You, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the pit worked out really well. He's like, all right, might as well just go other pit, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if it works, it works. It, it did, he did look pretty good by the end of that, so I guess just playing a very similar character uh, wouldn't be too bad for the most part. Ooh. Yep, uh, pit definitely, pit and dark pit definitely got uh, quite a few good options. I don't think like this. This is this is where the that's where Dark Pit makes his money, man. He gives you off stage, and that arrow can continuously be such a big problem. Uh, the advantage state of this character, especially when you go flying flying out horizontally, he can just continuously harass you, and it's just it's absolutely insane. Yeah, it's kind of crazy uh, how much damage Sharp is able to get, even without knowing the optimal combo routes for Pit. It's uh, very I haven't seen him play this character before, so. Yeah. I'm half expecting him to actually go for an offstage side B, just because Rob is so big. <laughs> It'd be sick. I'd be pretty hyped for it. But so far, he's doing a great job. Actually, it's continuing uh, piling on this damage, uh, really just extending this uh, this advantage state. Okay. Kraken's trying to get something started here with the gyro plays. Oh, double? Oh, wow. I thought that, that was going to be an easy side B off stage for him. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't go for it. I felt like he had it. Oh, nice get of attack to get rid of the gyro there as well. Oh, big anti-air. Very, like the very, very tip of the up smash. Just enough to reach. All right, this is a pretty good position for Kraken. Mm -hmm. About to see if Sharp can find a way to close this out. Three wouldn't want this to go any further than game three, but you know what? Sometimes it happens. Dead? <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's the opening, man. Oh, yeah. that's rough. Yeah, Rage Rob, when you're at zero and he has a gyro in his hand, like, you just kind of think to yourself, like, am I going to die at 40? Like, am I... Am I, am I gonna get hit by a, a gyro nair at the ledge and just you know just die? <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, is like, I figured that he would have, um, like a game plan going in here. I don't know. Like he, Kraken does play a little bit different from Epic Gabriel, and and Sharp does have a lot of experience with Epic Gabriel. And Epic Gabriel, obviously, one of the better players in the Wi-Fi era at the moment, uh, makes deep runs in just about every tournament he enters. So, uh, and I you know I I thought. I don't know, maybe, maybe Kraken just started to turn up here a little bit, try to... Oh, oh, the Rosalina! Oh. This one's interesting, because on paper, it makes perfect sense. Rob is very easy to juggle, you know. And uh, he has a... 
what is it called? The gravitational pull. So you can mm-hmm. absorb the laser and the, the gyro pretty well. But it's Rosa. It's not easy character to play. This is like, there's like, what, three good Rosas you can count in this game? Um, One of them is like the, the best Rosa in like from Smash 4. <laughs> Yeah, there's the buzz, <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but let, let's see, let's see. It, it it's sharp, man. He can he can play right anywhere, now, man. It's, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's working. I mean, that's just what it really comes down to. Sharp has just got great fundamentals in general. Oh, oh great yeah. stuff, actually. Luma, the real MVP. Just when you think Rose is vulnerable, Luma is just right there. But uh, as I say, that Luma is nowhere to be found. And hopefully, you know, if you're sharp, you do not die before Luma comes back. Definitely possible. He's at that percent. Yeah, Luma's going to be back. It only takes about seven oh. seconds. Oh. Oh, he spiked the Luma. Uh. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a really good parry on the Nair, but he did down tilt instead of up smash. Mm -hmm. He might actually be ready to... Oh, I was going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> so you might actually be ready to just get a running up smash on Rob's landing. Pretty easy to get for uh, Rosa since up smash is intangible, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so far, not too bad. Right now, Sharp's looking really good, man. Is Rosa actually pretty, uh, yeah, pretty it's, decent? <laughs> yeah, it's looking actually like a actual Rosa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he actually plays his character. I mean, I, I, again, this is what happens when you have good fundamentals, everybody. Uh, you just, you can play other characters decently well, because you just, you know how to play the game in general. And after that, it's just kind of figuring out what each character has, what do they have going. And, uh, like, because we're not, I haven't seen him use, what, uh, Neutral B once, just kind of create some space between uh, him and the Luma. But he understands that Luma still can be, be activated. Like, if he gets grabbed, Luma can still do stuff. So, I mean, yeah. it's just, it's just good Smash Ultimate, honestly. Nice spacing at the ledge. Oh, Luma's out of here, but he still has some decent kill options here, even without Luma. He can get a, a deep forward off, of, off stage, he can kill. He has a pretty strong up smash still. Oh, but Luma's back. Ooh, nice positioning on the back air. Still has control of the gyro as well. Oh, didn't. Oh, wow, still killed. Wow, even the sour spot. Yeah, I think the I think the Luma might have helped too, and he was at like 160. I think. Oh, geez, there's a bunch of shit happening right now. Yeah, that was very very scary for Kraken. That could have been a disgusting gyro setup. Sharp though, still looking very very confident in the Rosa right now. Yeah, this Rosa is actually really nice. <laughs> yeah, he's going full aggressive. He's not letting Kraken breathe at all. Luma's still active here. Mm -hmm. Watch out. <laughs> Don't run into the charge for smash, whatever you do. Ooh, nice gravitational pull to get control of the gyro. Yeah, this this Rosa pick is working out very well. Oh, that's uh, going to be the stock yeah, right there. Yeah, about 108. I imagine that Sharp is going to be able to close this out soon, especially with Luma back. Okay, Luma gone. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point, Kraken's realizing, all right, I need that offstage spinny arms. I, I need the arm rotor to get me another stock at 17. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, yeah, I don't think Sharp is going to let it happen. Up yep. smash out of shield. Get him out of here. That's 3-1 Sharp. Closing it out with the Rosalina of all characters. <laughs> now, like, of course, Rosa does really well in this matchup. Like, on paper, she has all the tools to beat Rob. But the character is like, again, who uses this character? There's, there's like three people that are good with this character. I'm saying.